The second step in the troubleshooting process is going to be gathering your information. Uh, and there's four really key pieces of information you need. Uh, the first is going to be about the equipment itself. Uh, let's start with the pump. Uh, what type of pump is it? What model is it? What construction? And ultimately, how old is it? When did that pump unit ship out into the field? And speaking of the unit, we want the complete details as well. Uh, what about the drive equipment? What motors installed? What reducers installed? How fast is the pump running? What's the horsepower available? All these are critical parts about that pump unit uh, that need to be known before we can start troubleshooting. Uh, the second piece of information we need to gather is the system information. What happens before and after the pump? What's the pipe size? What's the pipe length? What type of pipes are being used? And are there any valves, fittings, or equipment uh, that the pump is flowing through that could affect it? Uh, the truth of the matter is, in troubleshooting exercises, 90% of the time the problem lies in this system. And so having a good information about the system is key to troubleshooting. Uh, the third piece is you're looking for service conditions. The viscosity of the liquid, how much flow we're generating, how much pressure is taken to uh, push the liquid through the system, the specific gravity of the liquid, the abrasiveness of the liquid, the more the better to give yourself a good picture of what this pump installation is like. Uh, and the fourth and final piece is uh, service history. Uh, look for, is this a new installation? Is this an old installation? And if it is an old installation, what type of work has been done to the pump? Is this something that was a brand new problem that just started happening? And if so, has anything changed? Uh, there's a lot of times where uh, a customer's gone through some type of preventative maintenance and then a problem occurs. And so that's key to understanding what happened to that pump and why that might have uh, resulted in a failure today. So get as much information as you can about that pump, about that system, about the service conditions and the service history, and that's gonna paint a good picture as far as what is the next step in that troubleshooting process, what are the common failure modes that are gonna go with that information.